Come on, man, close on that. It was still an eight tail. I'm going to tighten this up some. I'm going to tighten it up where I got enough slack out of it. Right, you know, I'll hold that up. And I'll just tighten this up the rest of the way. Now the last thing I gotta do is tighten these up right here. Oh. Okay. And what I've done is put these on totally the wrong side. That's okay. I can reach through and tighten them this way. front fender all done and installed that's all hooked up in there there's all that pretty good clearance um, I don't know if I like that like that I might go back through and cut a little bit off of off of that but for now I'm not worried too much about it might actually help with letting water run off the fender better now with the back, I'll try and move my bike around. Here's some, something where we can see what we got going on here a little bit better. Now, with this, what I'm going to do is I guess I'll go ahead and pop this piece on this here on now, so I got to worry about it later. And just be done. Um, this little thing right here will bend so you can take it down and down through. So I'll go ahead and let that go on through. Just like that right there. Um, I'm going to take, gather up the stuff I'm going to need now. And then go ahead and attach that right there. I don't know. I come with this little piece right here. I'm gonna see if I can put it in. Oh yeah, that'll work. Put that in there, and I'll put this nut on there. There's a little pocket on this little plastic spacer. And I can I can run that onto, and it'll. She'll keep some of the slack and help tighten, tighten that up a little bit better. Right there. Like that. Okay. So that's all tight. Next thing is down here, I'll put this little weird strappy thing. I think I'll strap it from here and wrap it around that way since that's the way. Um, the motor's going to be on this side, the cranks is, so I don't want to, I have to do anything, it might make it easier to get it on and off if I just do it this way. It just pulls tight, where it's just like most, um, most headlight straps anymore. Okay, so, now the next thing is to put my my rack back on. So I'm going to just start up here first. 
I'll put these threaded in, which I have some shorter ones. Same thing back back here with the back. And I'll try to make sure I put these on the right way this time. So this is going to go right here like that. And I guess I'll be putting a put one of the spacers in right there for this. I hope. Yeah, I got some longer bolts right there to be able to hold that on there. on there and see if it'll pull it out to where I need it to be. I might be able to get away with just doing a double spacer like the other side. And that's what I probably should do. So let me put this spacer and this spacer how they're supposed to go. Like that right there. Slide this back through. like that. Now let me repeat the same thing for the other side. Um, wrap one of these star washers. Put on this. This is one of the bolts that actually came with the kit. Um, multiple bolts and other weird stuff that came with it. I don't think a whole lot. A lot of people said that there was a whole lot of different ones, but I don't think there was a whole lot. But there was definitely enough to get everything done. So, let me slide this on here. Do this the way it needs to be. Make sure I got my thing where it needs to be. Slide that through. Make sure this is lined up. finicky than it needs to be. There it goes. Okay. There goes that. And then I'm going to get my Y tool here. Good tool always to have. Nice Y tool. I should be able to tighten this up. Maybe. Is done. Now I'm tightened up. 
really not too hard, just planing out the right tools you need. Um, so that's how they are. It's a little off center from my rear rack course. I've dropped my bike over a few times fishing, so you can see my rack is kind of tweaked and bent up, but everything's there. That's all there. Got pretty good dis you know, distance, but it's still gonna cover. Um, I don't have a super wide tire, but the fenders are definitely wide enough to cover what I need to try and keep me from getting wet. Here's the front, a little bit better view. I've been stuff like that. Everything installed and ready to go. So that was my SKS Vallejo 65 install. Um, went too hard, like I said, just kind of research what you need. Do you need a mountain bike? Do you need a 700C or do you need a 29er? And make sure that you're get, getting the right kit for you know the bike you got. Um, I know they make them for 24s and 20 inch bikes too. And then of course Fender is all about personal preference. I wanted something that was black that didn't stand out a whole lot but wasn't super chintzy either and stuff like that. They make some that hug the rims a little bit more. Um, I think right now the only thing that I don't like is maybe how far that is. I might eventually just pull that, undo that, pull that out and cut maybe a half inch off of the rod and then slide it back down. And I may do it with the back, but for now it's fine. So I think the next video, we'll see what we can do start installing um, everything on the handlebars start getting that done get my um shifter cables routed before i can install the motor um my brake cable's fine i just hung it up over here that way it'd be out of my way when i've done this and i'll just slide it back through and back down the frame where it needs to go so till next time in the next video thanks for watching